All right. Uh, it's good to be in the win column coming off of a bye week. It's uh, good to see our kids uh, lock in and focus. I thought their level of preparation uh, gave them a chance to win, and we had to go out here and execute. And to be honest now, you know, um, you don't win games like that with four turnovers. I mean, um, you have to damn near play perfect to, to overcome what we had to overcome. Two interceptions and, you know, fumbles. Uh, you know, it's just not <clears throat> not clean football that way. But uh, our kids showed a lot of resilience. Um, I thought our defense, for the most part, um, against their run game, did a very solid job. That was a complicated offense that way to defend in the run game. And, you know, we got to get better on the back end. You know, um, a couple of balls hit us deep on us, you know, late in that ball game. But uh, I'm proud of the way our guys overcame the adversity during the course of that football game. And uh, this is something that we absolutely need to build off of. So. Stan, the decision late, you're up six with three and a half minutes to go. In, right there in field goal range at the 15, you could just run it, kick a field goal. You had EJ throw, you know, to sort of to kind of put it away. What was that? decision there? Yeah, well, you know, I looked at the, uh, you know, it's not like we ran the ball extremely well. You know, that was a decision where we felt that, you know, putting the ball in our best players' hands and make a play, you know, so those, those are the things that we we lean on, you know. I mean, what did we do best as an offense? You know, I think we threw the ball pretty well today, and, you know, sometimes we, we live and die with that, you know, but uh, for the most part, we, we definitely play into our strengths. Coach, you mentioned in the past that you needed Week, you know, a week off, things that you got. When they make the way the game started, both sides of the ball, does that validate the fact that they were ready to go and they had that opportunity and got ready? Well, I think the, the bye week um, did a lot of positive force in a lot of ways. Yes, we, we were able to get uh, more healthy. Uh, some guys were able to get some of those aches and pains worked out. And, you know, quite honestly, it was a good, good time for us to decompress mentally, you know, and kind of focus in on, on the, what are we doing and why we're doing it, you know, um, both as a culture, as a football program, and, and also systematically. You know, we, we had a lot of young guys play early for us, you know, uh, during the course of the season, and a lot of guys are just here, this is what you're supposed to do, go do it, not understanding the why, you know, how they fit within the whole big picture of the scheme, you know. So uh, we were able to kind of hone in on that this, this bye week, and uh, I think it paid off for us a little bit. Start. How much of a lift did that give the team that things were going well for them? That was something that we knew um, as a football team going into this game that we, we had to start fast. You know, uh, Navy, uh, as you can see, they, they their time of possession, the way they hold the clock and, and uh, run the clock down uh, is, is something serious. You know, it's a weapon of theirs. And, you know, we um, we talked about if we win that toss, taking it and, and scoring fast and see if we can get those guys uh, – to play a different style of offense, you know, where they have to um, really force the ball down the field, which they did with such some success uh, during the course of that game in certain spots. But um, we wanted to really try to keep them off schedule that way, not them to get into the, the triple option game where they're really giving us some fits that way. Same with the exception of, of EJ's interception in the first half. I mean, that was the blueprint in the first half of the game when you guys took a three score lead. I mean, is that coming out of the bye? Was that the best? Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, we knew getting EJ back was going to put us in a in a rhythm. You know, and uh, like I said, we had a really good uh, bye week and, and a game week of practice that way. Where our, our throw game got into a really good rhythm, and um, you know, give credit to that offensive line. I thought they did a good job of you know protecting him and giving him the time. And EJ does a great job of you know recognizing pressure. I mean, they pressured us a lot today. And they, they outnumbered us uh, in a lot of those pressures, okay? You know, seven-man pressure, you only got six people to block, you know? So EJ had to throw the ball on time. We had to make some adjustments up front, and I think we did that at a high level today. And, um, you know, again, uh, it's credit to, uh, you know, our offensive line communicating and uh, executing. After Watt had the fumble and he went out for the punt return instead of Dante, what was the thought there of putting Watt out there? Were you trying to get some confidence or was something wrong with Dante? Yeah, something was wrong with Dante. Dante was not available at that time. Okay. And coach, it seemed like when your passing games you know, connecting on all cylinders, it seemed like Jordan and DMR is such huge factors. Can you talk about them being factors again today? 
where they're always at the right spot at the right time, you know, and, uh, you know, giving our quarterback the time as he works through a progression, you know, he, he those, are, those are very easy targets for him to find, you know, and, uh, you know, we expect those guys to make plays for us, and they're very well capable of doing that on a consistent basis, and, and it showed up today, you know, so um, they did their job. Yeah, we're used to seeing Quincy on that short yardage, but he's tried to get, you know, why DMR now one of the options there on that? Push. Well, you know, um, a way for us to keep personnel on the field, you know, um, and, and not those guys make a, a big wholesale change in their personnel grouping and go extremely big on us. And it took us two tries to get it, you know, but, um, you know, DMR is a great ball carrier and he's a guy that we trust. And, you know, he's played a little quarterback in his past and, you know, he received the snap and it was something that we practiced. And, um, I'm glad it worked for us. Talk about what you saw today from Zay had uh, that big reception at the end to get you guys into the red zone. Just what did you see from him? Did he have a better week in practice or something? Well, you know, it was kind of an up and down week for Zay. Zay was, you know, trying to get back healthy all last week and the bye week. You know, he was really trying to fight to get back. And, you know, uh, he got the green light sometime middle of the week this week. And, you know, it was good to see him back out there. I would love to see him score a touchdown. <laughs> you know, I would love to see our guys catch a run in the open field and, Go ahead and get that in the end zone. We, we at times make it tough for ourselves, but um, no, it was good to see him back out there. He's, he's an integral piece to our offense. Stan, you guys held them to 144 rushing yards. You would think that maybe by a few scores they'll, they'll get their yards. So considering how beat up your defensive line has been, even a lot of teams have stopped those runs when they get to the second level. We, there were some carries today where your defensive line was stopped at the first level. What went right today from the Bears' spot and what did it High discipline. You have to be disciplined with your eyes against Navy. And I thought our, our guys did a great job of doing their job, you know, and that was something that had to improve on. You know, that is, those are the things that got us in trouble in the past. You know, and especially when you're going against a triple option offense with all the tricks and all the movement, our defense had to do a great job of being disciplined with their eyes. And I thought they did a phenomenal job of doing that. And I also like to say that our defensive line, I thought, um, did a great job of getting off of blocks. You know, um, our defensive ends did a, a good job of applying pressure to the quarterback. You know, those things showed up today and uh, attribute the success on defense due to those things. Speaking of discipline, you guys didn't commit a single penalty today. How big is that for you guys to win a close game? It's huge. It's, that's Temple not beating Temple. You know, we can't afford to play Temple and an opponent. You know, so um, that's something that we'll build on as well. Stan, wanted to ask about Alex Odom. Noticed he wasn't wearing his single digit today. What was the reason behind that? Oh, we had some personal things. Uh, we'll keep that in house. Is there a chance that he might earn that back? Uh, it's up to it's up to Odom. You know, he's got to earn it though. Okay. Thank you. Very good. Thanks, coach.